jam-packed show for you. Just a ton of stuff to talk about, as as usual, but might even be more so today. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, if you love for lovers of hypocrisy, <laughs> this will get us started off in the in the right way. A uh, little tweet from George Takai. You know him from Star Trek. He's uh, Sulu in Star Trek. He's a deep one. thinker. Deep, deep, deep thinker. Uh, and just a crazy extreme left-wing douchebag. Uh, back in 2017, he tweeted, Many say we should go easy on a man, clearly not himself. Probably suffering from early onset mental issues. But I say Trump is fair game. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. I don't know what the mental issues, problems were that he was referring to, but th- uh, he just tweeted out, uh, let's see, September 29th. Yeah, this was after, remember, he's looking <clears throat> for the dead congresswoman. Oh, Jackie, are okay. you here, Jackie? Jeez. <laughs> When you get to a certain age, it does become increasingly difficult to remember who is alive and who has died. Sure. Sure, that makes sense. It's not something younger people have to consider that often. Cut the president some slack already. Mm. (laughs) Thank you, Defiant Elves, for continuing to document hypocrisy like that. I, I mean, nobody looks around for dead people that are top of mind he said they said it was she was top of mind. So that's why he called her out looking for her, expecting to see her at this event. Huh? No. No. She played such an important role uh, at for this event. She did. Yeah. And yeah. she's been dead for a couple of months. Right. You would think that since he she was top of mind, he'd realize You'd realize she's gone. She's um, not going to be showing up at this. I don't think she's been a part of any of your meetings the last couple of months. If she showed up, I think people would have been running for their lives. I really do. I think you'd know she was there if I she showed she up. I thought she was dead. I thought she was dead. I mean, what the hell? This is the attack of the zombies. Uh, but... You know, here was that beautiful moment. I want to thank all of you here for including bipartisan elected officials like right, Representative right. Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, uh, Representative Jackie, are you here? Jackie, are you Jackie? I was, didn't think she was, was, she was going to be here. I think she was going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. So bad. Uh, also, cut him some slack. Cut him some slack. Cut him some slack. Get off his back. Cut him some slack. Yeah, yeah you, you don't cut presidents. That kind of slack. You know, he he's right about Trump being fair game. I mean, I, I don't know about mental acuity being fair game because there was no sign that he was compromised in any way, as far as I'm concerned. Was that the day he fell or he tripped or something? And oh, look at this guy. Can't even walk. Oh, yeah, when he was going down the ramp. Yeah. Can't even walk, this guy. <laughs> That's how bad he is. Let's get some let's get some doctors on the air to talk about his mental issues. Now, I mean, day after day, day after day, <laughs> week in, week out, month after month, Biden screws things up, <laughs> hour shows that he hour. he's not here, you know, and nobody, nobody says, any, ah, cut him some slack. Cut so, him some slack. His, don't go there, Jake. Right. Don't right. go there. After after Trump, I don't, don't even go there. Oh, you don't want me to go there? No, I don't want you to go there. Okay. All right, <laughs> oh, Master. Okay. All right. I won't. All right. I mean, for sure, the hypocrisy is, you know, noticed every day. We had just just the other day when she went to uh, when they went to Florida to uh, survey the damage of the hurricane. uh, Jill was wearing Wearing heels. heels. Wearing heels. Uh, Nobody said a word. That was the dumbest thing of all time when Melania did it. And when when Melania did it just from the White House to the plane. Yeah, right. Uh, She didn't even do it once she got to the hurricane. Like, you don't suppose she has a change of shoes on the plane, do you? (laughs) That can't happen. Ooh, good There's thinking. no room. There's no room for a change of shoes. You can't bring that Melania. <laughs> so I'm sure she walked around the entire time in spiked heels. Mm. Yeah, and nobody even Not mentioned the Joe word. Biden Not thing. <sighs> Duh. So yesterday, uh, the president took part in a summer in a summit on fire protection and control, and uh, that story about his house. Getting struck by lightning oh, and yeah. burning to the ground, the, reared its ugly head again. It's on the reoccurring list. <laughs> I mean, it, here he is. 
my local fire department volunteers mm. to, to get them out and get mm. them to the hospital mm -hmm. and they save their lives. In addition to that, what happened was uh, I, uh, I, was, uh, I, I was doing Meet the Press and uh, lightning struck in a little pond behind my house, came up through the ground into the air mm. conditioning system, uh -huh. ended up generating thick black smoke, oh. literally, oh. literally that in absurd proportions. And from the basement Literally. to the third floor, the attic, everything was ruined. And the kitchen floor, we almost lost a couple firefighters, they tell me. What? Because well, the kitchen no floor way. was Stop it. the burning between the, the beams in, in, in the house, oh. in addition to almost collapsed into the basement. And then, uh, oh, wow. and then I, was, wow. uh, yeah. I got rushed to the hospital for a... Turned out to be almost a nine-hour operation with a cranial aneurysm. <laughs> okay, this is because of the fire. fire? fire no, company. this is no. his greatest hit. Oh, saved the, the, my life. Of disaster so stories. I for owe the you, and so many other Americans <laughs> owe you as well. So <laughs> many families. Ah, unbelievable. Uh, then there was a time I tripped in the bathroom when I was playing with my dog. They remember came to that? rescue me there. Remember. Then there was a time I fell up the stairs trying to get to the Air Force One. <laughs> I fell up the stairs over and over. I needed medical treatment for, from EMTs that day, too. So we know, and I've had all these, the, all of these incidents that y you guys take care of, they've all happened to me. Surprised you didn't bring up the automobile accident. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the actual one that yeah. took his wife, or his first yeah. wife's life. Oof. Uh, that man, if wow. he were a Republican babbling like oh, that, a Republican geez. congressman in some obscure mm -hmm. district in flyover country, the left would be like, man, we got to get this guy out of office. He's not mentally fit to be serving in Washington, D.C. But if he's a mm -hmm. Democrat president, then, oh, we're good. <clears throat> we're no, good. we're fine. There's yeah, nothing wrong with that. Cut him, cut him some cut him, slack. Cut him some slack. He's 79 years old. Cut him some slack. Wow. Yeah, but he's going to turn 80 next month, and the White House is just like, yeah, wow. we're going to downplay this. Not yeah, I bet you are. No big celebrations here. <laughs> right. Which you would normally have on a on a zero birthday like that. You get I mean, to the decade birthdays, and it's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, uh, they should no. bring in the firefighters when they light the candles, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and the firefighters. I know the first time I turned 80, uh, they had the firefighters there. Really? Yeah, everybody was lighting candles. Oh, wow. like, hey, well, yeah. You know, I mean, that makes sense. Slow down. It's precautionary. You're not going to light all those, are you? <laughs> but yeah, my house almost burned to the ground. Everything was destroyed. Stop and then it. the floor almost burned. fell out, right? Yeah, right, that, the floor. I hadn't oh. heard that before. Almost, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's new. That was... the, the, the firefighters rushed to the... Being killed or almost, almost killed. Almost yeah. dying. That's yeah. new. So yeah. he's adding some details, adding some spice, keeping fresh. Remember the, the Chicago fire? <laughs> oh, God. Remember oh, was, oh, no. This was worse than that. Yeah. Remember the fire in London that almost burned it to the ground, yeah, all of it? Yeah. The, that, of was, that was just like a firecracker went off compared to what happened in my house. I see. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know the pond got struck either, by the way. That yeah, was, that's a new yeah. one. That's a new Angled, one. A new little yeah. And then it went through bit. the pipes and stuff. And we just <laughs> yeah. read on overtime the other day that, yeah, you know, water and, and pipes and whatnot. And that's. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they carry lightning like mm -hmm. that, yeah. So, yeah. Apparently from a pond... Outside, mm -hmm. uh -huh. all the way into the house, into the air conditioner. And well, right. you know, I mean, when you have a pond in the backyard, you have to be, you know, you have to be knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, I don't know. Is Sucks. there nobody on Sucks. his staff that can get through to this guy? Okay, Mr. President, Stop. you've told these stories. Stop. You're, you're exaggerating them all. A lot of them didn't even happen. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Ange was dead for like 10 years when he supposedly came up to you and told you you, you traveled 3 billion miles on Amtrak. We're going to get that story again very soon, oh, too, very because soon. the railroad strike yeah. is going to happen right. again. November right. 19th. And he's going to be talking about he's going to be talking railways about trains are again. important to me. Yep. Do I ever, you know what, I should tell you about it. Amtrak. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> coming again. I used to travel it every day. No, really? <laughs> yes. huh, why haven't we heard this before? <laughs> also, he sat down with Jake Tapper, and uh, Tapper asked him about the Armageddon comment he just made mm. a few days ago. When people hear the word Armageddon, they get scared. From used by a U.S. Yeah. president, they get scared. Do you think, in any way, discussing no, this no. type of thing publicly, openly, Putin's possible use of nuclear weapons? Pause it. 
Anybody Mike believe he's going to op- say, yeah, yeah, I was screwed up. <laughs> he's never taken responsibility. For anything. For anything. He's never made a mistake in his mind. He's never done anything wrong. He's never said anything bad. He's never caused uh, problems with the American people. This will be fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, I did. That was bad of me. I shouldn't have done that. Let's see if that's what he said. Okay. All right. Might have the opposite effect of what you want. It might make some of our wobblier European allies be even more scared of confronting Mm. Putin. Well, no, I don't think so at all. I think it was uh, uh, directed... When I'm talking about, I'm talking to Putin. No, no. Okay, so he can't get away with that because he wasn't talking to Putin. He was talking at a Democrat fundraiser. fundraiser. Nice try, old man. Go back to bed. (sighs) The worst. You need to cut him some slack. (laughs) Is what needs to happen. The man's almost eighty. Oh yeah, he turns. He's he shares a birthday with uh, with me, which is uh, frightening. So yeah, on November (laughs) on November twentieth, he's going to be eighty freaking years old. That's and he's president of the United States. That should not be the case. Term limits, term limits. Uh, that one step would help us a lot. It it would clean up a lot of the deadwood in Congress and, of course, the executive office. So wait, wait, what are we going to term limit him on? Like, uh, look, it's been eighteen months. Get out. Yes. So- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? You've That's exceeded the limit on people with Alzheimer's. So get out. <laughs> Get out. Some you can make the case maybe that we get rid of uh, the insider trading, mm. right? So that they mm-hmm. couldn't make the money that they make in yeah. office. So that, that would, would be good. Be, that would help them decide to get out. Now all of a sudden Pelosi's in favor of that. Yeah, because she made her billions, and so now she's going to slam the door shut well, for everybody else. She and her husband didn't use that insider trading. Oh no, never. never. She never whispered a thing mm-hmm. to hubby. Can't believe you even considered those, that. All those, all that, all that money that they made was just coincidental. Yeah, how dare you even bring it up? How dare you? Uh. <laughs> so term limits. Okay, stop the insider trading. And again, this will never happen. But make them legislate from their own district. Stop with the Washington situation. Make them legislate in their own district where their constituents can talk to them every single day. Boy, those when they three see changes the, would be uh, huge. Oh, it, it would fix the country. It would fix the country. Also, during his uh, interview with Joe, uh, with uh, with Trapper, Tapper there, <laughs> Trapper the Tapper, Joe? Uh, Jake uh, was apparently making him nervous, and he, he dropped his cheat sheet. Oh, no. During Economically and politically. Yeah. We are... We still have real problems. Yeah. But we look, 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 what we, look what we got done. There it goes. Look, we we, we, get we done? passed so much legislation oh, that oh, significantly makes a, point, <coughs> it makes a point about, you know, for example, the American oh, Rescue Plan. Wow. Absolutely pathetic. Never seen it before. I've never seen up. that happen. I want to follow up from Jake. I want him to go, hey, what you got there, old man? What's, uh, what, you got, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. They cut that out. They cut that? Oh, yeah, he did what that. You that you that's on CNN man. Plus. Yeah, they cut I would give. Any amount of money to see Jake Tapper ask that question. <laughs> what you got there, old man? I mean, I'm surprised they even <laughs> left that in. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, know. I mean, maybe, maybe that's his way of saying because, what you got there, old man. Wow. Because they have multiple yeah. camera angles going there. Yeah, they didn't have now, to show if that. They cut no. the one, well, if they cut to one of those, then you're going to have Biden <clears throat> bending down or at the same time Tapper. I'm, they could have. They could Let's have see done if you some could have, Play that one more time, so we can see if you could have made a clean edit, both visually and, and uh, audio wise, economically and politically. Right. We are. We still have real problems, but we look. Look, look what we look what we got done. We we we, we passed so much legislation oh. that significantly we, makes a makes a point yeah, about you, you know, for that. example, yeah. Was, he's in the middle was, of a was, sentence, was live, so that would be a tough edit. Well, not only was that, this, but, was this actual live? I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I, I don't know. You could that. remove I don't know. this whole section. Yeah. Though. You could remove said, that. What did the, the bug say, where, Rob? When he ended with political or what? whatever, it could have stopped there. What's the bug say? Give us a, a still shot there. Does it say live in the corner? No. No, he's not yeah. doing a live shot, right? No way. It's, it's a CNN no. exclusive. Yeah. Right. I'll Does, bet you. I'll bet you they don't allow live interviews yeah. with him because <laughs> you can't control that. It would be a disaster for him. So maybe that leaving that in is their way of saying what you got there, old man. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Because that inane answer <clears throat> about the economy is replicated in other clips that we have here. So it's not like that was crucial to the interview. <clears throat> right. Yeah, they could have taken it out. Uh, all right. 
So we'll get to uh, more from Biden in this interview. And he talked about his son, Hunter. (laughs) Interesting stuff there. Uh, In just a minute. First, let me tell you about Patriot Mobile. If you want to know what the left's real plan is for your kids, just look at the reaction to the work Patriot Mobile did in multiple school districts here in Texas. The left is losing their minds over it. Patriot Mobile is America's only Christian conservative mobile phone provider, and they are a force for conservative values. They're in there, in the on the front lines, fighting the battles. They really are. They don't they don't just talk the talk; they walk the walk. They have affordable plans for you, your family, even your business. They offer the same nationwide coverage you get from the major carriers. You just don't have to worry about your hard earned dollars going to support things like Planned Parenthood. They actually fight for. Uh, children to be born. They believe in the sanctity of life. They believe in freedom of speech and the Second Amendment. Go to patriotmobile.com slash pad or call 972-PATRIOT. You'll get free activation when you use the offer code pad. Special discounts are available for veterans and first responders too. patriotmobile.com slash pad or 972-PATRIOT. liberals for breakfast it's pat gray unleashed so uh they got onto the tapper and biden got onto the topic of uh, hunter biden uh amazingly huh, huh that's amazing <laughs> somebody actually brought it up to the president that he's got a scumbag for a son uh not not in his mind don't go there jake <laughs> our reporting cnn reporting and the washington post reporting suggests the prosecutors think they could, they have enough to charge your son, Hunter, uh, for tax crimes and a false statement about a gun purchase. Um, personally and politically, um, how do you react to that? Well, first of all, I, I'm, I'm proud of my son. This is a kid who's so got... So much uh, to be proud of. Not too. a kid, he's a grown man. He's done a lot of work for he me. He got uh, hooked <laughs> on, uh, uh, like many families have had happen. Right. Ho- hooked on yeah. drugs. Uh, hooked he's on overcome drugs. that. He's established a new life. Has he? Oh. He is. Um, uh, I'm confident that he is. Mm-hmm. What he says and does mm-hmm. are consistent with what happens. What? Um, and, what is that? Uh, what? For example, he wrote a book about. <laughs> he wrote a book. Problems. He wrote a book about it. So and shut he's up. Straightforward about it. I'm proud of him. Right. He came along he and be. said, "By the way, this thing about a gun. I didn't know anything about it, but turns out that when he." Didn't made my a- a- application uh-huh. to purchase a, a gun. Right. What happened was he stay. I guess you had, get asked. I don't guess you get asked the question: <laughs> Are you on drugs? You use drugs? He said no, and he wrote about saying no. Oh, he wrote it. Well, he put it in the book. There you go. I, 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 I have yeah. big confidence yeah. in my son. I love okay. Him. And uh, he's on a straight and narrow, and he mm-hmm. has been for a couple of years now. <laughs> oh. And I'm just so proud of him. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you put it in the book, why you can't be held accountable for it? He's already put it in the book. He's covered it. So that completely, uh, <laughs> completely I mean, gets I guess, him out. I guess you got to fill it out when, uh, I, I when guess. you get a gun. I, I guess. guess. No, I don't guess. But I mean, he, I know. he put it in the book. Okay. Did he put his... Yeah, he wrote about saying no in the yeah, book. Right. The book. Yes. He, so, I mean, yes. So what do you want? Read the book and then shut up. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> what a weird... By the way. Talking justification about for that. Being on drugs. Rob, is it possible to get a still shot of the last moment of that clip? Look at Joe Biden's eyes. I've, I mean, th- we've seen him. That he is gone. He's gone. There's mm. no, there's no trace left of life in there. <laughs> Bye. That's mm. that's distance. I think um, he is clinically dead. Hmm. Um, oh. The man is almost eighty. <laughs> So why don't cut, you him, cut him, him slack. slack? Yeah, okay. Well, Would you please, okay. Daniel? I think we know the title of today's show. <laughs> cut cut him, him some, some slack. slack. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, he's there? had several eye strokes and stuff. He, cut him some slack. Cut him, cut him some <laughs> slack. Yeah. Well, but at least, at least he has everything under control. Mm. We're not in a recession. I don't know if you know this or not, and he made that clear last mm. night. Wait, what? Yeah, we're not in a recession. Yeah, watch this. It hadn't. Be, there, there has. There is no. Well, there's no guarantee that they're going to be. I don't think there will be a recession. If it is, it'll be a very it, slight bro. recession. That is, we'll move down slightly. <laughs> we'll, look, what? Okay. Look, think look. about what's happened. All right. Let's okay. think about it. Let's think about <laughs> what, it. He has babbled <laughs> nothing there. That entire <laughs> clip is him just babbling. Let's, no, but let's think about what's happened, right? Yeah. All right. And let's 
Let's ask this question. Did Hunter write about a recession in the yeah. book? He said no. If he did, if he said no, then we're done here. It's not right? a recession. <laughs> wrap it but up. If, if, but if, oh, hold on, let me get a pen in my hand the way he's got, you know, if if there's going to be, it's going to no, be a slight, slight, a slight, slight down. Yeah, yeah. Not, it, and Hunter wrote about it wrote in about his it. book. He said, so, there's a slight recession right now. This is the same Move guy on. who told us that inflation was transitory <laughs> yeah. 16 months ago. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, the is... only thing Hunter's ever worried about paying for is that kid of his from the baby mom. <laughs> Which, did he Alabama. write about that in the book? I, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure that's that written about in the know. book. I don't know if he did or not. No, I don't think he wrote about that in his book. Uh, yeah, I've uh, never met one of my children huh. that he I... even acknowledge it. Yeah, oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He talk about him and his sister-in-law in the book. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know. Does he? I don't know. Well, huh. former he... sister-in-law. She wasn't really a sister-in-law at the uh, time. I'm sorry. Thank you. Right. Voice of reason in the room. Appreciate yeah. that, Jeffy. <laughs> yeah. Did he talk about the uh, showers going on down the hall uh, between his uh, dad and his sister? Mm. Was that in the book? <laughs> I'm not reading this thing, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Uh, wow. Mm. Man, I just... Did he, uh, did he talk about uh, what went on in Ukraine? Uh-huh. Uh, with him and oh. China That'd be a thick, that went on thick with him. book right there. Yeah. And did he talk about, you know, 10% going to the big guy? Did he talk about that in the mm. book? I don't mm. think so. No. Mm. But he's on the straight and narrow. Yeah. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But so uh, there's one more clip of Joe Biden talking about how he's fixed everything that had an issue in our economy been fixed by his. Well, that goes without saying. Right. We, we all feel that. Sure. Yeah. Right. But Everything's they, under they, control. They left that in? No, yeah, we got this. Oh, okay. We got the answer. We passed right. the an- Look, what I ran on, I said Look. we're going to deal with energy. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and the energy problem, we're going to deal with problem. the whole notion of global warming. Mm-hmm. We passed $368 billion dollars worth of help, which, as the same bankers talk about, is going to bring a billion, a trillion, seven hundred million dollars. Billion, 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 billion dollars seven billion, and trillion, and quadrillion dollars. Yeah, and numbers. it's going to bring a th- Thousand million trillion. Trillion. trillion That's trillion. almost a direct quote, what you just did in jest. <laughs> yes, know. it is. I, I <laughs> what, what, what is the quote exactly? What is it on there? Uh, let's see. Oh, heavens. Uh, about passing a a billion, a trillion, 750 million dollars, <laughs> trillion dollars. Off to play it again. It's incredible. That is awesome. It's incredible. Help us. We passed the end. Look, okay. what, I Look ran on, I what I ran on, I said we're going to deal with energy. Right. right and and the energy problem we're we going to deal with the whole notion of notion global warming. Of global warming. We passed three hundred sixty-eight billion dollars worth There's of help, billion, which, as the no. same bankers talk about, is going to bring a billion, a trillion, seven hundred million dollar billion dollars <laughs> off the sidelines. <laughs> <and investment. laughs> he I mean, he can't. We're in hell. Oh he my! Oh hell. my gosh! <laughs> we are in hell. He we're can't. I, I mean, I uh, quadrillion. Thousand dollars. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, this uh, was what? supposed to help with inflation, and yeah. he's sitting here talking about, oh, we're, we fixed uh, global warming, and uh, so that was in the bill. And energy, and uh, the hell it helped with energy. Uh, the notion. Can of we get back change. to inflation? Because that was what you sold. It was the Inflation Reduction Act, not the <clears throat> global warming stopping. Oh, <clears throat> help us. Well, we're yeah, done. But Keith, we. We passed a billion, jillion, quadrillion thousand <laughs> in, in money things and stuff where you get, you know, money from, uh, from the things. Uh, the and bankers told and us. we talked about it. And any, any banker that told us, no, we told them, wait, that help, uh, you know, secure our future f- for our children because mm-hmm. it's a trillion, billion, million dollars. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I mean, I don't know. I don't man, know how that's okay. Listening I, to the man was, wears me out. I mean, Jake Tapper oh, yeah. used to have some giblets. Uh, you're sitting there listening to that. Don't you just stop and say, "Dude, please, what what is the matter with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're clearly not there. You're just not all there. Why do you continue this fiasco on that the got, American that, people? That got cut out. Yeah, it did. That it wasn't in the interview. Oh, yeah, okay. they were going to air uh, it, and they they decided and not then, to. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Out of respect for the office, of course, because that I, would be disrespectful. Well, I mean, right. There's he, First of all, he's not doing an interview with anyone that would even come close no, to that. No, that's right. 
Yeah, that's true. And by the way, and, you know, uh, go sorry. No, and, and <clears throat> so I mean, really, I keep thinking that that's they them showing him dropping his cheat sheet mm-hmm. is kind of their way yeah, of go. saying, hey, yeah, mm-hmm. there you go, guy's off a little bit, and go. look at this, he brings a cheat sheet to this interview. <laughs> there you go. What the hell. By the way, um, speaking of Hunter in there, uh, it was reported the other day by the Washington Free Beacon that two members of FBI leadership involved in briefing Facebook prior to Facebook's decision to censor the Hunter Biden laptop coverage were uh, Democratic donors in 2020. Surprise! The yeah. FBI, man. Every single It was just day. small amounts, though. Mm. Mm. Really, it was. It was? Yeah, it was. It oh, was that's like good. 50 or 100 bucks or something. Oh, that's though. good. So, but at least they're not. Yeah. To, uh, mm. When's the last time but, you gave to a political candidate? Oh, and are you in leadership oh. of the FBI? Oh, so so you have to be moved enough to donate to a right. To a I know that's what's party, so strange, and that- then you have to be at the head of the FBI. Which, oh, by the way, did you also hear that the FBI before the 2016 election offered that British spy Christopher Steele up to a million dollars yeah. to prove the dossier? You, if you could prove this to you, we'll give you a million bucks, bro. Couldn't do it. FBI. He sucks. couldn't do it, so it didn't matter. They're enemies within the FBI. Hmm. And people to this day believe the steel does. They sure do. Even though it was completely wholly made up. Uh, and everybody knows it. Uh, they, I mean, the left continues to beat that drum as if that's a legitimate document right. still. It's really incredible that they get away with all this. Really incredible. And, of course, yesterday, KJP uh, <laughs> had to tell us. She backed up what the president was saying about oh, the economy. Oh, wait, you know, what? Because it's great right now. They fixed it. If you think it's bad, you just don't understand your situation. <laughs> understand. <laughs> so, why don't you understand <laughs> oh, okay. your situation? situation. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm trying to help you get that- this, you know, but you just won't. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You, you don't understand your you own need. situation. How what, dumb are you? Is that her stupid quote from the great big book of everything? <laughs> yes. You don't understand your situation. You don't understand. It should be. Here's what she did say, though. Direct, the IMF yep. director of research with their report, their global report came out. He said that the three largest economies in the world, the U.S., China, and the Eurozone, will oh, stall will stall next year. And so I'm wondering if the president bears any responsibility with his policies no, for the doesn't. inflation and, a, and what they're sure calling stalling economy. Sure. Okay, mm. we got to step back here and look Let's at what the president back. walked into here. Okay. What did he right. walk into? A booming economy. I would like to do that. We've been here for about 20 months. When he walked in, businesses were closed. Small businesses Pause it for a second. Down. This is unconscionable. Yep, yep, yep. When he walked in, businesses were closed. Huh. Hmm. Because of the terrible job Donald Trump was doing. <laughs> Are you serious? That's what she's implying. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, that's how they get away with counting, I can't take bringing it. those jobs back. Yeah, right? Exactly. That's that ridiculous yeah. chart we had the other day. Obviously, businesses were closed. It was the height of COVID. Yeah, that's what happened in a lot of blue states. Oh, here the Red rest states of this too. Babylon. Schools yeah. were not open, and we were <laughs> in, a, in a pandemic. During pandemic? a pandemic, or at the beginning of a pandemic, where thousands right. of people were dying. A day. That's what the president walked into. Oh, yeah. What he did is put forth the American Rescue wow. Plan, oh, which, by the go. way, was only voted by Democrats. Oh, good, you that own was it. Able to you turn own back that crap. On our economy. That was able to get shots in arms. That was able to get the schools fully open. Shots in arms. And that was able to give businesses Pause it. an opportunity. That's what was able to, to get schools fully open. Yeah, Are you serious? Yep. Shots in arms and schools opening is what uh, yeah. rescued our economy. Two years later, yeah, schools opened. Are you, most schools, they, many, yeah, many schools, yeah. were closed they, that whole time. They, they fought it forever. The teachers' union fought mm-hmm. that forever, and they did nothing to encourage opening schools. No. They did the opposite. Yes, they were discouraging schools being open. We spent- and then when they finally allowed them, in some cases, to be open, uh, the kids had to wear masks yep. the entire day. And we spent billions on uh, refurbishing all oh, their all the schools' my- uh, air duct systems Gosh. and cleaning systems. That was meaningless. Just meaningless. Wow. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh, we got to come back to this because it's just, <laughs> it's just incredible. More coming up. Oh, and chewing the fat uh, with Jeff. We'll, back. Uh, we'll get back to the uh, KJP thing and so much more. Got interesting uh, Fetterman discussion. 
Uh, there's just so much right now. Speaking Great. of people out of it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, some tweets as well. Got giblets tweets. Uh, did Biden just say that he was rushed to the hospital for a nine-hour surgery as a result of the fire? <laughs> yes. No. No, those are two different oh. stories kind of jammed together. Oh, that's yeah. what he does. Yeah, but, I mean, would it surprise you if he did c- conflate those two? Not I mean, at all. No. From just Tony, you could you could cut Trump some slack for walking carefully down a ra- ramp. However, <laughs> when you combine walking down a ramp <clears throat> carefully... And uh, the time that Trump drank water with two hands. <laughs> now, now it's time for a discussion about his mental health. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, I forgot about the other thing. You know, the two-handed yeah. uh, drink right. was unconscionable. You and he just told can't. people to drink bleach. Oh, I mean, that that's guy. right. Yeah, he begged you to, in fact. Yeah. He wanted to kill Americans. Thank you. Well, it's because he's, he was a Russian spy, you know? Mrs. Boots Boots, oh, yeah. term limits, age limits, mental capacity limits. Yeah, those were those would all be good at this particular time in our in our situation. Uh, from Jenny Blue Dog, I'm proud of my son. Proud that he managed to evade <laughs> incarceration all this time. <laughs> I mean, the money he got for dad was uh, incredible. Oh yeah, yep. And uh, Lone Wolf 2965, I'm proud of Hunter. Do you have any idea how many millions of dollars he's brought me from yeah, China and thank Ukraine? thank you. That's uh, no doubt about it. Yeah. And look, uh, it's a father talking about his son. Right. It's understandable that he's he wants to be proud of him. And if, if you're proud of what he's done so far, uh, good for you. I'm surprised he didn't uh, say, look, I, I love Hunter. He's not Bo. But, uh, you know, <laughs> Bo died. All Bo right, died. let's get to chewing the fat. <clears throat> In just a moment. Yeah. I it's swear better. this gets worse. No, it gets worse. Oh, sorry. It gets worse every time. <laughs> Do you know that uh, a car company did the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Are you aware of that? That's really weird. That is really. Yeah. Wow. Well, that yeah. is weird. I don't know why nobody's brought that up, but there was a car company that stole this from us. <laughs> How many stories do you think you get in over this theme, Jeffy? And the amount of None. time we it have takes. to wait. Could you shut up? And the amount of time. <laughs> We're listening to goodness. <laughs> We're listening to the goodness. <laughs> the goodness. <laughs> There's a lot of goodness uh, thank here. Thank you. It really is. Thank you. That's the word we're going with? Goodness? Goodness. Okay. And it's time to chew the fat. <sighs> so Dame Angela Lansbury oh. has died. Oh, yeah. That's the Irish, sad. British, and American actress best known for her portrayal of Jessica Fletcher in Murder. She, she wrote. wrote. <laughs> <laughs> that's from the. Uh, that's from Pat Summerall. Yeah, Miss yeah. Too. I, I thought Miss we him. would uh, revisit that later this week because that's a fun moment. Uh, eight decades, three-time Oscar nominee, five-time Tony Award winner, honorary Academy Award for her in 2013, <laughs> hmm. uh, given the Dame Commander by the Queen in 2014. Oh, wow. hmm. uh, went to sleep and never awoke five days after her, uh, just before her 97th birthday. Oh. 96 years of age. Wow. She was that little... Rest uh, in peace. Wasn't she the teapot or she was yeah, something? Yeah, awesome. Mrs. Potts. Yeah. Awesome in Good Beauty stuff. and the Beast. Good yeah, stuff. that was great. Mm-hmm. That was with, uh, what's his face? Also played uh, the French candle stick holder who's oh, dead now yeah. too. that's right. Anyway. Uh, also, uh, Art, uh, uh, DJ Art LeBeau uh, has passed away. Uh, eight decades behind the mic from, uh, with, the got pneumonia. Uh, mm. He's credited with coining the phrase, Oldies but goodies in 1957. Huh. He started the original sound record, incorporated, and released a compilation album called Oldies But Goodies, Volume 1, which stayed on Billboard's Top 100 charts. Southern California radio icon Art LeBeau dead at 97. Mm. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, the most trusted brands in the United States. Brands are ranked on the average net trust rating, and they're done by Morning Consult Brand Intelligence, and they do thousands of surveys every day across the globe on brands and products, thousands of them. And this uh, intelligence data 
set was gathered March 3rd through April 3rd of this year, 2022, uh, between uh, 5,241 and five, you know, a little almost 6,000 U.S. adults. The uh, top 10 most trusted brands in the United States of America. Number 10, The Home Depot. Number nine, mm, okay. Colgate. Colgate. Number eight. You trust them? <laughs> the, the Weather Channel. No, they're trying oh, to kill us. The no, Weather hell Channel. No. no, hell Wait no. Wait a minute. First of all, let's let's not <laughs> jump away from Colgate so fast. Oh, okay. When they're trying to poison us with fluoride. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Trying whoa. desperately to kill us all with fluoride. Interesting. Wow. One spoonful of fluoride could kill millions of Americans, and they put it in their toothpaste. Wow. It's in their product. Mm. All right. Go ahead. So Colgate, and then it's... The Weather Channel. The Weather Channel. That's yeah. garbage. Please that is shut up. Number Show seven. for global warming. Number seven. Cheerios. Really? Okay. Number six. Mm-hmm. Visa. Visa? Oh, Number five. whatever. ESGville. Number five, which I just I disagree with. Number five wholeheartedly, CVS Pharmacy. Mm. Ah, wait, what do you got an issue? I despise what happened? CVS. They're just bad. Why? Just bad. That's All not right. who gave you the vaccine. Right? No. Okay. No, I do not go to CVS. <laughs> uh, number four, UPS. Okay. Number three, okay. Mm-hmm. Clorox. <laughs> Clorox. Well, yeah. Look how prominent they've become yeah. since the number pandemic. two, mm-hmm. Lysol. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Another one. More than Clorox? And the number one most trusted brand in the United States of America. Is it CNN? <laughs> it's CNN, isn't it? It's CNN. It's got to be CNN. Don't, don't. No. Band-Aid. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we trust them so much <laughs> that their brand name became the name of the, of the of actual the product. product. Yeah. It's weird. I know. That's why I'm stuck on Band-Aid. Yeah, well, Band Aid stuck on you. Thank you. Yeah, they also uh, did a uh, <laughs> the most trusted brands globally. Oh, okay. And, you know, they Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Italy, Spain, uh, United Kingdom, and the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, the top fifteen, which I think would have changed now. All right, this was in April. Uh, for sure, number two would not be as high as number two uh, today as mm-hmm. it was then. Uh, fifteen, Colgate, Palm Olive. All right. Fourteen, Disney. Disney. 13 Shh. MasterCard. And these are trusted, right? Yes, the most, most trusted, trusted brands, brands. In the, in the, globally. All right. Globally. Disney. 12 Nestle. Mm-hmm. Uh, 11 Nike. Mm. Okay. 10 Samsung. Visa. Netflix. Netflix. Adidas. Adidas. Sony. <laughs> uh, Amazon. Okay. YouTube. Uh-huh. Yeah. Microsoft. Okay. Number two, Microsoft, PayPal, PayPal. Oh wow! I don't. I think, think that so. may have dropped a little. I think you're right. Number one, mm-hmm. Google. Oh god! Most trusted, Most trusted. brands globally. Well, because they said they weren't going to do any evil, and so you can trust them. Take it to the bank. Yeah, thank take you. Take it right to the bank. They said, mm-hmm. "Hey, we're not going to do. We won't be evil." Oh. Well, okay, then great. I can follow you wherever you go, and you can We're good. follow me wherever <laughs> I go, and they do. I, I give you my word as a Google. <laughs> oh, that's huh. awesome. I love the, they did, well, they have, I looked at the automotive and mobility, and uh, number four was U-Haul, and I thought U-Haul should be no higher than that. Yeah. I like the U-Haul. Mm. I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. But uh, wait, wait, what list is this? Jim? This is just a, I, just a, a side note on U-Haul, the automotive and mobility rankings mm-hmm. of oh, companies, okay. and so you know, I mean, AutoZone, oh. AAA, Goodyear, U-Haul, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and Advanced Auto Parts uh, down at the bottom of that list in the top eight. Mm-hmm. But AutoZone number one, kind of, kind of really, weird. yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, that is weird. Kind of weird. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and Kelly Blue Book, Kelly Blue Book. Yeah, number nine. I mean, mm-hmm. okay, I guess. I mean, we trust them. I guess. Sure. I guess. All right, fine. All right. Mm-hmm. Fine. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that uh, if you were to rank podcasts, uh, chewing the fat, obviously, <laughs> would be on the list of the number one. Obviously. which you should subscribe to. I don't know about number one. Uh, but, you know, it might be in there. Somewhere. Available. I mean, you should subscribe to chewing the fat. That's I think it'd be saying. in, it'd subscribe be in the top enjoy. trillion, billion, <laughs> gillion, t- zillion. <laughs> it, it would probably be in, you know, a thousand billion. It's on the list. So I'll tell you that. So you should subscribe to it. <laughs> right. uh, available wherever you get them. Uh, sure, it's baseball season, playoffs. Uh, NFL season is, what, a quarter of the way through now? Mm. Uh, college football, regular season, halfway done. Mm. Uh, but hockey started last night. So how excited are you about that? Oh, huh? Man. NHL. I can't contain it. I can't. <laughs> uh, it's taken everything I 
have in me I'm surprised to not start, talk about it. I thought you were going to start before now. The show yeah, like. usually I would. Uh, not this time for some reason. So who, who's your, who's going to win oh, it all? I, you who's know, who's going to win it all? Uh, right here. It's going to be so hotly contested. Yeah. Right here. You know, between the Hartford Whalers. No, 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 no. That's not and, a thing. Uh, That's not a thing. Uh, I got your answer right. It's Tampa Bay Lightning, baby. Oh, okay. I'm going again. No problem. I see your boys though. Uh, Houston. Uh, won the first game in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Last night. A walk off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Walk off three run home run. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, NASA says that uh, the dart, that crash into the asteroid, changed its trajectory. It's, oh, it did. Yes. It so we know so that now. We, now. we now know how to protect Earth from future threats. All right, good. So we're uh, huh. take that off the list. We're smashed done. Smashed the crater into the asteroid of Dimorphos. Right. Uh, hurling debris out into space, creating a comet-like trail of dust and rubble stretching several thousand miles. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, so they could say anything, though, and how are we going to know? Right. Correct. <laughs> we, don't, <laughs> we don't know. Are, they can say whatever they want. Yeah, change it. It's fine. It, it, completely different now. It's going a different place. <laughs> Next question. Is it? All right. Well, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Is NASA among the trusted institutions? It, it wasn't on the list. It wasn't <laughs> so, in the top 15. Right. And I did, all I know is they said it shortened the asteroid's orbit by 32 minutes. Huh. So and that, that's more than what they had hoped for. <laughs> oh right? wow! So okay. Uh, all right. I mean, that's Take huge. Their word for it, because there's I mean, no alternative. Look, I, as as Lori Glazed, the NASA's director of planetary planetary science, said, mm-hmm. "Let's all just kind of take a moment to soak this in." Oh jeez! For the first time ever, mm-hmm. humanity has changed the orbit of a celestial body. <laughs> okay. Mm. Huh. Uh, thank you. Mm. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and it, you're right. Now we, have, I mean, I guess we have to believe them. Yeah, right? you got to take their word for yeah. it. How do we know? And that's a government entity that's mm. asking us to believe them, right? Uh, nah. mm. And we still, I mean, we rolled, uh, we rolled the the moon rocket back into the garage because of the hurricane. That's never going to roll back out again, right? I mean, we're just that, we're just letting we're that just collect done. dust. We're done with it now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were, we're going to go to the moon, but mm, uh, we decided not to. You know what? We're going to leave that in the garage. It's going to be an antique a few years from now, and we'll let you come and look at it. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pathetic. We got to get on the stick there. The Chinese hmm. are going to go get all that helium three, which right. is supposed to be the next big thing in energy. I mean, when th- when three teaspoons equals what was the number? 5,000 tons yeah. of coal? Yeah, it was uh, Was that like I, half a year or something like that yeah, of, of electricity? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable numbers. Plant. If it does what they say it will do, right. we have to win this race. Well, I mean, the moon is ours. Clearly. <laughs> Prove that in 1969. The moon is ours. 1969. There's no, I don't want to hear your yeah. little, oh, we decided that it belonged to the entire earth. No, we never signed that no, deal. No, I'm sorry. We didn't sign is it. the Chinese flag up there? No. No. No, I don't no, it believe is not. it is. No. no. I mean, sure, they China's got their own little space. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, uh, That's cute. Maybe, I know. Maybe, it's adorable. Okay, but. maybe you put a fort there or something to mm. defend it because we haven't <laughs> been back in a while. No, a long time. Man, well, fifty years. Well, I mean, we've already we've got well, we've got a rocket in the garage, just collecting dust, waiting to go back. So let's go, <laughs> let's go. Park it there and call it done. <laughs> so last Friday was a special day, and now we kind of failed to celebrate it. Uh, Vladimir Putin turned seventy years old. Oh wow! wow. So How did we miss his uh, birthday. I don't know. Darn it! But uh, Steven Seagal didn't. <laughs> oh, this guy. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Good. Do we, do you have Steven Seagal? Do you have something we don't on Steven Seagal? Have that? We I apparently think, don't uh, have. Steven okay, well, he wished him happy birthday. Well, yeah, but you, and uh, I, he, we wished him happy birthday, and he also, you know, uh, hoped for peace, which I thought uh, I don't that's think, powerful. I don't think peace. Powerful. I don't think anybody wants peace over there. Mm-hmm. I mean, so Ukraine's president, our boy, uh, said that he ruled out <laughs> talks with Putin. Right, he just urged the G7 nations to impose tougher price caps, and last week he wanted us to, to have a preemptive strike oh, did you against hear him? Russia. Yeah. Did so, you? I mean, they, who wants peace, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Did you hear him try to go back on that? Uh, no, there's something lost in translation. It was, uh, it was uh, preemptive kicks, not preemptive strikes. What is preemptive strikes? I never heard that phrase. Wait, what are preemptive, preemptive kicks? kicks? Nobody knows because if you do a Google search, there's like 500. 
things huh. in the entire planet in the history of 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 web pages. It's a preemptive kicks. Oh, okay. <laughs> preemptive I mean, kicks. NATO is doubling down on the huh. warships in the Baltic. They're uh-huh. going through nuke drills. I mean, it doesn't sound like people want peace. Uh, Elon yeah. took a beating when he tweeted out his uh, yeah, Ukraine Russia you? piece. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're trying to say that he he talked to Putin before he tweeted that out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> shut okay, up. shut up. Okay, fine. But then he, you know, I mean, he took a big beating for his for his uh, tweets on that. And then he said, okay, well, let's uh, let's try this then. And he talked about uh, the will of the people. Well, that's the first one, right? That's the first one that he sent out. We do have those. All right, excellent. Uh, where he uh, and and they said no, right? They all they voted against it, the Ukraine Russia peace. And then he went on to say uh, it's highly likely to be the outcome in the end. Just a question of how many die before then. Yeah, he's right. And then he went on to say, also worth noting that it's possible, all but unlikely, uh, outcome from this conflict is nuclear war. It's not nuclear. Uh, There's no such thing as nuclear. Dang. Here we go. Nuclear. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. It's, <laughs> it's, you, it's it doesn't paper. matter. Nuclear. Plus, mm-hmm. if it happens, right? I want the X on my house. I just want it over with. I don't want to. I don't want to look in the. We're gonna I put be the clear target about right that. on your roof. I want to be clear about that. I don't want to yeah. look in the horizon and say, "Oh, mm. look at that." It's going. No, right here. And just be vaporized. Be, I just want to be done with it. Yeah. All right. I just want to be done with it. That's all I'm saying. Hey. Duly okay, noted. So, uh, <laughs> and we I, and we uh, we can talk about other stuff, but I'd rather just talk about uh, BYU football. Oh wow! Why would you uh, do that to me? Wait. Why would you? Do what that? are what is happening? I don't know, bro. Honestly, I don't know. What is happening? The the coaching decisions have been atrocious. I could not Absolutely believe atrocious. Well, first of all, it was devastating the beginning of the game this weekend. How they gave so much love to Jaron Hall, to, to Hall, our quarterback. Yeah, f- first play, interception. On a poorly, poorly thrown ball. <laughs> He's going to be one of the greatest BYU quarterbacks of uh, all time. He's ready uh, for the NFL. <laughs> High interception. <laughs> he pulled out of that. And then I mean, they, he played better. I know he did. But then they took it out of his hands at the they end of the sure game. Did. Yeah. Well, what you got to run doing? it into the middle four times. Who is coaching? When it's not working, just keep doing it until it does oh. work. That's what you oh, do. okay. Right? That's what you sure. do. Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens this weekend. Right. Pat Arkansas Gray unleashed. Pat Gray returns. Okay, so we just scratched the surface on this KJP answer yesterday. Now, Biden is talking about everything being fine. He's done such a great job on the economy. I mean, it might come down a little. Uh, maybe a, a slight recession. Okay. But uh, that's because of Trump. <laughs> is it? Nope. Well, yeah, Trump. And Putin uh, thank you. conspired to put us in this situation. <laughs> thank you. But uh, because of his miraculous decisions and policies, uh, everything's great for you. Oh, can we add Saudi Arabia to that list now? Sure. Of whose fault it is? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, let's cool. do. All right, great. Yeah, because they're going to cut their oil supply. And interesting, I was reading that uh, that Biden begged yeah. them to hold off doing that until after the election. Yeah, after the midterm, please. And now there's going to be consequences, he said. We're going to have to reevaluate our relationship with Saudi Arabia and oil. Yeah, how mm. about we uh, reevaluate our relationship with our God-given natural resources here in our own country? Yeah. Well, Could we he's, do that? he's busy <clears throat> unifying right. the and, world and, just like he's unifying us. And when you hear these desperate moves by this administration that they've brought upon themselves, every time, just keep <clears throat> repeating the line in your head, March of 2023, Keystone would have been online bringing oil from Canada to Texas and all points in between. Mm. March of 2023. Because the argument when they canceled that was, well, it's so far out in the future, it's not going to make a difference anyway. Well, that time is now. It's about six months out. So just Mm. remember that. Mm. Madness. I know. But uh, here she is telling us everything's great. Direct, the IMF yep. director of research with their report, their global report came out. He said that the three largest economies in the world, the U.S., China, mm. and the Eurozone, will oh, stall will stall next year. And so I'm wondering if the president bears any responsibility with his policies for the inflation and, a, and what they're calling a stalling economy. Okay, we got to step back here yeah. and look at what step the president back. walked into here, right? When you what think about into? the night, the, the, we've been here for about 20 months. When he walked in, businesses it. were closed. <laughs> Small businesses were closing down. Oh. Schools were not open. And we were 
in a, in a pandemic, during a pandemic or at the beginning of a pandemic where thousands of people were dying. A day. <laughs> That's what the president walked into. Mm. What he did is put forth the American Rescue That's Plan, which, by the way, was only voted by Democrats, that was able to turn uh. back on our economy, that was able to get shots in arms, that was able to get the schools fully open, and that was able to give businesses an opportunity to start back up. And give a little bit of more of breathing room, those extra dollars uh, uh, back into the pockets of Americans. That's what the president was able to do. And he continued oh, that with the bipartisan infrastructure me. legislation. He continued that with the CHIPS Act. He continued uh, that with the Infl Inflation Reduction Act. No, and let's not forget the work that we have done, diverse. this president has done, Doesn't... these past several months to get gas prices down. Why <laughs> did this all Stop. happen? Stop. Okay, I can't take any challenge. more of this. Now they're taking credit again. As gas prices are uh, going on up, rise. for gas prices going down. Again, it's, I am not here. <laughs> That's the size of this lie. Look at this. Gas price, national average, up again yeah. to 392. This is... 330 something in my neck of the woods now, so... Yeah, it's right back up. It's going yep. back up, and she is telling us... No. No. No, gas prices are going down. And it's because of us. Yeah. He was able to do that. Uh, Joe Biden was able to do that. Huh. Yeah. Through all his wonderful policies. Really? Okay. Yeah, I was just Googling here for something, and this news headline popped up. Michigan gas prices up 35 cents in past month. Uh, and it's, I think they, they're getting off easy compared to some of the uh, mm -hmm. increases in other parts of the country. I guess. This is uh, it's incredible. And is, uh, she had the the unmitigated gall to throw in and thousands of people were dying. Yeah. More people by far have died since Biden took over. Give just do the one year time time frame. Yeah, and and remember and compare it to apples to apples, way more people died under Biden. Do you remember the Joe Biden tweet? That said, yeah, any, you can't be president. Yeah, if, if this many like people yeah. die yeah. while you're president, you have no business being president, and more than who died under Trump, right? <sighs> so they're just rewriting history yeah, in real time. If it works, we've got nobody to blame but ourselves I know. because it's so obvious what lying sacks of crap these people are. Oh, it's, there should be no way even fraud. Could affect this outcome. Should be no way. Yeah, we uh, Republicans should be so far ahead in every poll, in every state, in every race that there's no chance of fraud However, intervening here. That okay, you say that, but when you've got top quality candidates on the left, like this Fetterman <laughs> guy, <laughs> top quality, right? You, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. tough. Top to shelf. That's tough. To top with. shelf. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, have we've got some stuff about oh, him? Boy. He's Sucks beyond words, Wait, in oh, that? yeah. and that's what? saying something. Yeah, it is saying something. Oh, gosh, uh, I saw a clip of him uh, coming up a stairway with his hoodie on. I don't know that we have it, and we don't need it really. But it was uh, really strange how the the hoodie is covering up the goiter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Lumpacular. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it it almost has taken on its own personality. Now. Oh, it has yeah. on the internet. It uh -huh. has. <laughs> So he sat down with a reporter, and uh, this was uh, the reporter's takeaway after sitting down with John Fetter woman. Uh, we had a monitor set up so that he could read my questions because he still has lingering auditory processing issues mm -hmm. as a result of the stroke, which means he has a hard time understanding what he's hearing. Now, once he reads the question, Pause he's able just to understand. Second, yeah. uh, doesn't, doesn't that sound like the perfect U.S. senator? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't that, right there. Doesn't that just scream, this guy should be in the U.S. Senate? Sure does. So congratulations, Pennsylvania, for it keeping sure this does. guy in the race because mm -hmm. this is perfect. All right, let's hear the rest of. Oh boy, look at that monitor. It's Here, he also her still has time. some uh, problems, some mm. challenges mm -hmm. with speech. And I'll say, Katie, that just in some of the small talk prior to uh, the interview, before the closed captioning mm -hmm. was up and running, it did seem that uh, he had a hard time understanding huh. our our conversations. Screams the perfect candidate. Right, right. He can't understand English. 
anymore, which is his first language, by the way. And, you know, bless his heart, I, I don't want to make fun of a guy's uh, health issues. Yeah, if he withdrawed, right, if he withdrawed, listen to me. If, if he, he withdrew, withdrew from the race right, right now, yep. we'd stop. Yes. He's not a public figure. That, well, I'm sorry, he's still, yeah, he's still your, your lieutenant the gig, governor right? there in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Good job. But uh, you, you just can't have this in the U.S. Senate. I'm sorry, you just can't have it. He, he can do anything else he wants. Go ahead. That's great. Yeah, Dr. Dementia, who tweets oh, at us, uh, man. Uh, says that when you take an oath of office, you're required to swear to certain things. If you're not of sound mind, how can you swear an oath? Well, you can't. So I think that's a good point there, yeah. being of sound mind. Do they care in Pennsylvania? We'll see. I mean, I, I can't believe that this uh, that the gap isn't Oz 80 Fetterman 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, but instead, that's Fetterman's that. actually leading still. What? Still. Oh, it, it, the gap has narrowed, <sighs> granted. But we're, what, three weeks from the uh, election now? We're three weeks away. Mm. And uh, I think it's three weeks yesterday, right? Sure. So yeah. anyway, no. November 8th. Yeah, sure. Uh, almost a month. Three, three and a half. Yeah. Three, just under four weeks. I can't. I mean... You have the the uh, the, the clip of him... Uh, the radio The radio interview. interview. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, this will show how... Okay. suited he is for the U.S. Senate. He's fake. Should uh, Joe Biden run again in 2024? I think that should be a decision made by Joe Biden. And and that's it's Does, not a matter of huh. uh, anyone's choice other than by, his. By Joe, Joe Biden. I respect Joe, whatever choice he decides. Yeah. Joe so ben. I guess Biden should listen to Joe Biden? Yeah, I don't, I don't is know. Is Joe Biden one of his uh, big advisors? Kind of complicated. doing radio interviews? I don't know. I don't know. And that's interesting. That's a decision or we should leave up to Joe Biden. Yeah, Joe Biden. It might have been like New York Magazine or something, an audio <laughs> one. I don't know. But um, this goes right along with what the reporter was saying. You know, like, yeah. look, he just. Yeah, he can't do it. He messes, he drops off parts of words. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Let's see that again or hear it again. He's a gorgeous man, by the way. I love, uh, I love the still shot. Should down. Uh, Joe Biden run <laughs> again in 2024? I think that should be a decision made by Joe Biden. Oh, and okay. and that's it's yeah, not that's, a matter. That's not uh, a cell phone dropping out. No, <laughs> and and I respect whatever choice he decides. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. there he is. There he is. Yeah, and and there he, he is. You know, you've got your Eagles clip over there. You know, Kate Ness, a pad head, tweeted us. Has anyone considered this? Is, this is a good point. Has anyone considered the possibility that Fetter Woman may have been comparing the football team Eagles to the band Eagles? Oh, okay. She found an mm. out for Fetter Woman. And the Eagles. Are so much better than the Eagles. Hey. Hey. At football? No uh, way. Uh-huh. No. Maybe uh, so. No. No. <laughs> and he decided. I lo- no. I lo- finally. No. The Eagles aren't better than the Eagles. No. So no. never mind. Never mind. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> good time for America right now. It's a good time. We it are is. in our golden age, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Again, when you go through the list. You got your Biden at the tippy top. Uh, you got your Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House. She's compromised. You got Dianne Feinstein, who everybody admits, even Democrats are saying, yeah, she's she's out of it. She's not good right now. I mean, she has her moments where she's still there's still some clarity there, but mm, it's getting more rare. You got John Fetterman, who's about to join them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, good times. Good times, America. <laughs> now there is some hope out there. We've got uh, candidates, you know, like JD Vance. I mean, mm-hmm. that his answer on abortion while uh was it Tim Ryan trying to paint him as an extremist because he's pro-life? Yeah. That's actually he, the this is the kind of candidate we need. America. All right, let's hear from him. Look at this. As an exception. Look, I've always believed in reasonable exceptions. This is a misrepresentation of my view, but let, let, let's hear it from me, not from Congressman Ryan. Uh I I absolutely think the 10-year-old girl, the case that we've, of course, heard a lot about, an incredibly tragic situation. I mean, look, I've got a 9-year-old baby girl at home. I cannot imagine what that's like for the girl, for her family. God forbid something like that would happen. I have said repeatedly on the record that I think that that girl should be able to get an abortion if she and her family so choose to do so. But let's talk about that case. Because why was a 10-year-old girl raped in our community, raped in our state in the first place? 
The thing the media and Congress and Ryan, they talk about this all the time. The thing they never mentioned is that poor girl was raped by an illegal alien, somebody that should have never been in this state in the first place. You voted so many times against border wall funding, so many times for amnesty, Tim. If you had mm, done your job, she would Good. have never been raped in the first place. Do your job on border security. Don't lecture me about opinions I don't actually have. That's great. Nice. Know, lecture me about opinions I don't actually have. I like it. That's uh, those are the kind of bold responses Republicans must have right now. You know, follow the lead of Carrie Lake, who is just slapping down these people who challenge her, her on her, abortion and immigration. Her opponent won't even Katie debate Holmes? her. Yeah. No, she won't. Refuses, and with good reason. She'd get crushed. Mm. Uh, let me tell you about Birch Gold Group. Um, with consumer price indexes increasing yet again, the stock market's been in complete turmoil. What did it lose 1% the other day? Again? Again! Uh, so what is our illustrious leader doing to quell the surge of inflation that's destroying American families? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's spending more money and adding to the burden and the problem. Here's what you should do. Text PAT to 989-898. Birch Gold will send you a free info kit on protecting your savings with gold in a tax-sheltered account. These are great people with almost 20 years' experience converting IRAs and 401ks into precious metals IRAs. Don't let the left devalue your savings any longer. Text PAT to 898-989-898 to and claim your free no-obligation info kit from Birch Gold. <clears throat> Again, you can own uh, physical gold and silver in a tax-sheltered retirement account. Birch Gold will show you how to do that. They've got an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. They have countless five-star reviews and thousands of satisfied customers. Check them out now. Text PAT to 989-898 to secure your future with gold. Pat Gray on the Blaze Radio Network. Glenn Beck. We're not talking politics. We're talking right or wrong. That's it. And these are really easy things. The Satanic Temple wants to do their ritualistic abortions. I'm going to say no. That's an easy answer. Global government, mm, no. I'm going to say no to that one too. We're not fighting people, we're fighting evil. The Glenn Beck Program.
Chad Gray. Uh huh. What about him? Hello? No. All right. It's nothing. I am not here. <laughs> Joe, is that you? Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Of course, you saw this coming. As soon as you heard the announcement, I'll bet. Uh as I did, as soon as you heard, well, Ben Sass is gonna step down from the Senate because he's just become the president at University of Florida. Yeah. I thought, oh no, they're not gonna allow that. The little darlings uh, that are going to school at the University of Florida are going to have a cow. And they did, of course. Hundreds showed up to protest the fact that Ben Sass is the only finalist selected by the uh, the Board of Regents. And what do you want to bet he loses out on this gig? I bet he does. And why don't they like him again? Uh, because he's a homophobe. Oh, well, you that know? makes sense. Yeah. Here's what he said, that they're... Jumping all over. Okay. The Supreme Court once again, this was back in 2015. Supreme Court once again overstepped its constitutional role by acting as a super legislature and imposing its own definition of marriage on the American people rather than allowing voters to decide in the states. Homophobe. Yeah, he's, so he said it was a state's issue. And we're <laughs> to believe that these Florida uh-huh. school attendees. Mm-hmm. Remember what Ben Sass did in 2015. You know they they knew he's a, they know he's a Republican, so they looked for every tweet they could possibly find, and that's the best you can do. <laughs> okay. Uh, will they cave? Oh, of course they'll cave. I I think they will. We'll see, but I will bet they cave. Uh, one protester had a sign the other day when they showed up. Um, to, to babble about Ben Sass. 700 candidates and you pick a homophobe. Oh, ah, ah, shut ah, up. Ah, 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 ah. I can't take it. What a place we find ourselves in. So, is he going to step down from the Senate still? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I know. Mean, it's DeSantis' state, so. Right? So, Maybe it should not. mean something, but I don't know that it will. Uh, so, 300 protesters stormed the room after Sass left, and they were yelling accusations of racism and homophobia. <laughs> sure. Okay. I well, they were yelling it, so it must be so. Uh-huh. How well, is, louder you are. How is Ben Sass a racist or a homophobe? That's just asinine. Asinine. Just because he's got an R after his name, these little darlings can't handle it. That's where we are right now. So, uh, is that the actual name of the group? The little darlings. Yeah. If it's not, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely should be. Uh, yesterday, the military brass were assembled to assure us that our military is fight ready. Okay. We're ready for any fight. Bring it on, Russia. Give it to us, China. We could take you on right now. Here's <laughs> Army Secretary Christine Warmoth uh, telling us how ready we are. Before we before Christine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we see Christine. Could mm-hmm. you have told me before this who the, who Army, the Army Secretary, Secretary was? was? No. Because I watched no, that I clip not. and I was like, I didn't even know this woman existed. I know. I know. But here she is. And one more thing, Haley, I would emphasize is I think um, more broadly in terms of, you know, soldiers coming from um, marginalized communities or, uh-huh. you know, demographics yeah. that are not widely represented in the Army. Right. That's part of why we've got to emphasize positive command climates and inclusion. You know, we get uh-huh. criticized, yeah. frankly, sometimes for being woke. I'm not sure what woke means. I think woke means a lot of different things to different people. No, Um, but it's you. First of all, I would say if if woke means, you know, we are not focused on war fighting, we are not focused on readiness, that doesn't reflect what I see at installations all around the country or overseas when I go and visit. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, we do have a wide range of soldiers in our army Mm -hmm. and we've got to make Mm -hmm. them all feel included. Right. And that's why a lot of our That's the important diversity, thing. equity, and inclusion there programs. Diversity, diversity, equity, and inclusion. inclusion. Yeah. So important when you're dealing with an army is that you have the right amount of diversity, all kinds of equity, we are and super inclusion. You got to be. You got. You got to. You got to be committed to those three things. We are so screwed. so dumb. 
Done. We and that, she sweet. just showed why she's not the right person for Army Secretary. And, and she did say in there, you know, uh, we, we want uh, to emphasize inclusion. Uh, meanwhile, uh, breaking news out of Russia where um, they've just appointed, Putin has just appointed head of the Russian Army, um, a guy whose nickname is uh, uh, General Armageddon, <laughs> who apparently is brutal and, and, and fights outside the, huh. the normal bounds of uh, accepted warfare. Huh. So I mean that, but is he trying to get uh, trans right? Are people they people into the Russian army? Talk to me about diversity, yeah, equity and inclusion. Well, yeah, what about his inclusion and equity? Is General he really strong on Armageddon. those issues? Armageddon. General Armageddon actually sounds like a that'd be a cool WWE character. Yeah, General Armageddon. Yeah, so there we go. That's uh, what we're doing there in the old woke army. Help! Unbelievable. <sighs> Uh-oh. She doesn't even know what woke is. How could you I, be you it? Can't. You can't be it when you, you don't can't. know what it is. It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So uh, they're not woke. They're just diverse. They're equitable. Mm-hmm. And they're inclusive. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry. You're that's how hating, you win wars. Hating warmongering hater. But that's that means you are. throughout the centuries, that's how you win wars. Through diversity, <laughs> through diversity, equity, and inclusion. I will say the the guy, the, the guy, the general, whatever his title is, that was sitting next to her didn't seem too happy about he it. He didn't say a lot. During that <laughs> no, moment. he did not yeah. seem very happy at all. <laughs> so, army chief of staff. Okay. Okay. He's like, I just need my pension. Yeah. I just want get out my of pension, here. Get uh, general, here. how do you feel about what you just said about uh, you know diversity, equity, and inclusion? What, well, how do you feel about that? Uh, that question was not asked. No, it was not. We, you know that. <laughs> we don't anticipate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three more coming up. Making the apocalypse fun since twenty seventeen. Right. It's Pat Gray Unleashed Welcome. on the Blaze. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know about the uh, Florida Surgeon General, we had the story that he they did a study in Florida. Yeah. And they found that 18 to 39-year-old men are 84% more susceptible after getting the vaccine. They're more, they're 84% more susceptible to having a heart attack and dying. Well, I didn't see that. You didn't see that? No. Huh. Weird. It was, well, it wasn't everywhere. It was like one place, I think. <laughs> but, of course, that Surgeon General is being viciously oh. attacked now as a quack, a kook, conspiracy theorist. I, they're all over him because he spoke the truth. I mean, you cannot stray from uh, this administration's. No. That's the narrative. Go with lie. That. Yeah, that it, it's completely safe and it's completely effective. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. All right, you're still trying to say it's effective? <laughs> that has been so disproven, <laughs> right? I mean, do you have? Any better chance to not get COVID-19 if you've been vaccinated? I don't think so. Well, it's not going to be as bad. (laughs) That's all they have. We know evidence. thankful. We don't know, though. They're going to be thankful. You don't know. Hmm. And they are. Everybody who gets it after being vaccinated and boosted uh, always says, Well, thank goodness I got the vaccine, though. It would have been way worse. Uh You don't know that. You don't know that. There's no way to prove it. It might have been the exact same. I don't know, uh, but is it worth the risk? Maybe it is. And again, I don't care if you get vaccinated or not. I don't really have a, I mean, it sounds probably like we do because we speak out about it all the time, but it's just because we have to, somebody has to push back on this because otherwise, you know, babies are getting these injections and it's asinine. Not There's no reason for it. Not as many as they want. That's I know, for sure. but it's, it's still what? 3 million or something. Uh, six to a uh, six month old to really five years high? old. I think it's pretty. Do, do you yeah. recall when the vaccine was being rolled out and um, the vaccine sycophants, the the vaccine groupies were were really pressing get get it. You know, I hope you die if you don't get the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. And why do you try to kill grandma? And oh, shut up. Yeah. Twice. Okay. Oh, thank you. Hi. Vaccinated. You're hot. That's my gang sign. There she is. There's the pretty so lady. Stupid. Awesome. So okay. So. And they were saying, don't expect us to take care of you if you get COVID, if you get sick. Mm-hmm. We're not paying for your stuff. Right. Huh. Yeah. Well, then, with the side effects that are happening now, um, 
Should we make a special category where we don't take care of you uh, <laughs> if you get a side effect? I'm just wondering. But no, there was a big news day yesterday at the European Parliament. I don't know if you saw the uh, the guy from the Netherlands. They had the uh, Pfizer reps over there, and um, he yeah. he uh, yeah, yeah. he had a good question for her because uh, yeah, let's see it. Yeah, watch this. For you, Mevrouw Small, I have the following question where I have a answer on. And I will speak in English so there oh, are no misunderstandings. All right, here we All go. Right. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? Hmm? If not, please say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? Okay. And okay. I really want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanisation before um, it entered the market? No. Uh, these, Wait, um, you know, we had to Pause really move at the speed okay. of did, and to move at the speed of science. That is a critical uh -huh. admission uh -huh. because they claimed ninety-five percent efficacy. It was going to be ninety-five yeah. percent. Where did that come from? Oh, you're when you didn't even test it. Well, Bro brother, you're about to see a number bigger than 95%. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Science to really we understand what is taking place in the market. We have to move, we have to move the speed of science, Pat. We have to go. Um, regarding the question okay, around, um, did we know about stopping humanization before um, it entered the market? No. No. Uh, these, um, no. you know, we had to really oh move God. at the okay. speed of science All to right. really understand what is taking place in the market. We have to move at the speed of science. We don't have time to test this to see if it works. But what was that that just scrolled by? That was the head it's, of Pfizer's tweet. <laughs> uh, okay. Excited to share. Okay. This is from somebody at Pfizer. No, this is right? the head of Hi Pfizer. Yeah. Albert, Albert Moore. Moore. Excited yeah. to share that updated analysis okay. from our phase three study with BioNTech also showed that our COVID-19 vaccine was 100% effective in preventing COVID-19 cases in South Africa. 100%. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the, what's the date? What's the date of that tweet? What's the date of that tweet? Uh, uh, April Fool's Day. Wow. Yeah. This guy. Of last year. April Fool's Day. Ha <laughs> ha, 100% effective. Joke's on you, world. They didn't even test it. Didn't test it. Uh, how is that possible? Criminal. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Well, when you're moving at the speed of science. Yeah, I know. You got to let some things go. Like, I don't know. And she Testing even a brand new drug. She laughed about it like... <laughs> What are you talking about? We had to move with the speed of science tested. Shut up. I have time to test things. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would you test a brand new drug? Why? And then compel everyone in society, if they mm -hmm. want to remain a part of this society, you better roll up that sleeve. This is criminal. I can't believe she admitted it. That's crazy. Uh, the person who asked the question was Rob Roos of the Netherlands, and thank you for doing that. Uh, I'm kind of shocked that that somebody in Europe cared enough to ask that question. Oh, there's quite a few over there that have been carrying. People are tired of being bamboozled. Yeah. Yes, by Pfizer and Moderna and the Biden administration, mm -hmm. and we want some answers on this. I mean, if you got the vaccine, are you nervous about it at least? Because I. I was talking to my wife about this last night at dinner, and, you know, she's not worried about it. And uh, Is she boosted? No. No, she's not boosted. Yeah. Mm -mm. She got the original two, though. Yeah. Um, and she just doesn't think about it. She never had any adverse re reactions. And so maybe, right. I mean, there's millions and millions of people who have that experience. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, there are way too many people who've experienced just the opposite. Reactions. You know, myocarditis, uh, sudden death syndrome seems to be a thing with this. Just to go on record, uh, uh -huh. the sudden death syndrome. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> suboptimal. It is. Thank you. And it's and it, it is suboptimal. And it's also a relatively uh, <laughs> new term. I've heard of uh, sudden infant death syndrome, and right. makes you wonder. But now this is such an adult Makes you wonder death. what SIDS is related to as well. But no, no, mm -hmm. this whole uh, sudden adult death syndrome. They're like, yeah, that's that's totally a thing now. I mean, it's been a thing. 
<laughs> it's yeah. been a thing since as long as we can remember, all the way back to 2020. I mean, we've had this since the fall of 2020. Yeah, so There's been shut this. Up. Yeah, I don't want to hear from you, whiners. If the economy <laughs> a thing. doesn't collapse and kill us all, then then this big Could. lie is going to just disrupt society to the point where mm. there's going to be anarchy and chaos. Yeah, what are they going to find out years from now? You know, 10 years down the road, are we going to look back on this and think, wow, that was one of the worst debacles in American history? World history, yeah. Yeah, world history. White House COVID coordinator Dr. Ja was asked about Biden's recent comments that the pandemic is over. Mm. Here's what he had to say. President Biden did tell 60 Minutes that he thought the pandemic was over. Mm. Do you share that assessment? So let me be very clear. The president also followed that up with COVID is not over uh, and Wait, said what? we are doing a lot of work. I am the COVID response coordinator. Oh, okay. We are doing a lot of work. Okay, we're still doing well. a lot of work, y'all. It's not over. None, I, I none need, of it has to do with the vaccine. Yeah, I need a paycheck. We're doing a lot of work. I need a paycheck. I need this gig. It's well, not it's, it, over. I mean, it's definitely not over, right? I mean, cases do are still showing up and existing around the globe. Yeah, apparently. Forever. I mean, it's going to be that way forever. Correct. So I haven't seen is anybody. Is it ever going to be over? I haven't <laughs> seen anybody in my orbit that has gotten it in a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, I'll say I. I uh, visited someone in the hospital yesterday and i started to walk in you know just going down the hallway there and someone said oh wait sir you got to come back here got to do the covid screening i'm like the covid screening she goes yeah so uh have you traveled out of the country in the last two weeks no uh have you are you sick right now no all Uh, right so uh, here's your bracelet there and i looked at it later and it's like it says covid screen you know what i think this used to be Shove it up your nose, do the Q-tip thing, and mm-hmm. then you get the bracelet if you if you sit there and wait for a negative test. Mm-hmm. Now it's just like you left the country. No, no are you sick? No. All right, cool. Your screen go. Mm-hmm. And no one was wearing a mask. There were mask signs all over the place, and I'd say half of the people, the staff, the doctors, and the staff were wearing masks, but half of them were not. Well, they can't, right? That that's done with now, right? The mandatory mask wearing. Uh, that's a federal thing. The CDC. I think so. In September, uh, which is why those the doctors' offices are still have their signs up, but they don't force anyone. They never say anything. They, have, they? The, they have the signs up. Mm. You know, hey, masks required or whatever. But yeah, uh, they're not. You know what I mean? So they just don't enforce. I it. think the psychosis is is uh, wearing off. It is for there, for many. There are still people no, who are very afraid and won't go yeah, out absolutely. with their masks. We were at dinner last night because it was our anniversary. And- oh, happy anniversary! Oh, what are you up to, sorry. man? Uh, 37. Wow, congrats. Thank you. I've done, um, I've done that money. So we're uh, Not with the same one. We're though. eating dinner and in walks these people past our table. And sure enough, the guy's still got a mask on. And I thought, yeah. gosh, that's sad. Yeah, it's, it's sad. That you're still that afraid. Yeah. There's that's some really people, sad. You could be breathing fresh air, my friend. Yeah. There are some people who we will never see their faces for the rest of their lives now. That's true. I'm yeah. not opposed to that to some of those. Well, you look at the Howard Fair. Stern thing. Fair. He didn't leave his house until last week for two years. Yeah, and he's not alone. I mean, and he's still freaked out about it. Yeah. He said he was scared out of his mind, and he's a you know wuss. That's not exactly the word he used, but <laughs> right, something very similar to yes. that. And that's a benefit, though, in that case, where a person who is that uh, uh, scared is not going out into society. Yeah, I don't want to cross paths with you, I know. Howard. I know. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's, it's but amazing. it's sad yeah, it that is. you've been this frightened because of the hysteria created by this government. Yes. What was this? Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna find this in time here. But uh, someone recently posted uh, on social media this old newspaper article, which is just perfect for this time. And it was, uh, I think it was Goebbels. Was, While you look for it, yeah, let me uh, cool. let me tell you about. Um, uh, being prepared you know what if a food shortage hits america i mean more so than we've already had we've already had you know the baby formula what if more shelves are empty yeah i mean where was i the other day and the thing i was searching for well one of it was milk i was i was at uh sam's club zero milk yeah. Where do you- at Sam's Club? I know. What are you kidding? They didn't have full milk. They didn't have two percent. They didn't have one percent. They had no milk. Well, I've never seen that before. Nobody drinks it anymore. Well, right. I mean, you don't even use the product <laughs> right. anymore. It's way too dangerous. Yeah, you don't want to drink milk. milk.
Uh, so be prepared. Who who knows what's going to happen? You just want to you prepare for the worst. You hope and pray for the best. Uh, and today there's a special offer from My Patriot Supply for a limited time. They're offering a twenty percent discount on their three month emergency food kit. Twenty percent. This kit provides three months worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinners, drinks, snacks per person, and the food stays fresh for up to twenty five years. So it's going to be there when you need it. My Patriot, Patriot Supply is the nation's largest preparedness com- company with millions of customers. They're charging less so they can help families more. But the sale ends in just a few days, so take advantage of it while you still can and save 20%. Go to preparewithpat.com. The food is delicious. It really is. And it's easy to prepare. Gives you over 2,000 calories a day for optimum energy. Someday soon, you're going to need it. It may not be, you know, by the end of this year, but sometime you will be thankful that you have this. Save 20% right now. Uh, go to preparewithpat.com. That's preparewithpat.com. Pat Gray Unleashed. All right, so last week I tweeted out... Uh, so many healthy people who never wore a mask before 2020 are going to wear those damn things for the rest of their lives. It's very sad. And it, it, let's just say that the masks work, right? Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, it's just for the sake of argument here. And if you're immunocompromised, right, you're going to want to wear that. But but people mm-hmm. that, that have immune systems that can handle this stuff. Yes, young, healthy people. Right, right. And they're still wearing them. They're going to for the rest of their lives. And I and I put a note on there. I said, you know, it's always wise to look at every government action through the fear lens. And I was retweeting. Someone had tweeted out an old newspaper clipping from the Nuremberg trial, 1945, Hermann Goering, to the question, how did you convince the German people to accept all of this? He replied, it was easy and has nothing to do with Nazism. The only thing a government needs to turn people into slaves is fear. If you can find Mm. something to scare them, you can make them do anything you want. And they scared them with the Jews. The Jews were coming to get you. Yep. Uh, Amazing. Yep. That's amazing. And they did it here with COVID. Just keep in mind, fear doesn't come from God. That comes from the other direction. Fear comes from, from the adversary. Uh, And so let go of it. Let go of your fear and just live your life. You know what? These variants uh, are not even that dangerous anymore. No, no, they're not. Right? If you're a fairly healthy person, you could even have some comorbidities. I do. (laughs) And I got it and survived it perfectly well. Thank you very much. Uh, So... The, it's become a much more mild disease than it, than it was with that Delta variant. Uh, they, we're not dealing with the same thing anymore. And so it's not even that scary. You're going to get sick. You, you have, you know, a cold-type symptom for a few days. That's what you get, usually. Now, if you do have comorbidities, that's a different situation where, I don't know, what are they now? Diabetes? Uh, Obesity. O- overweight. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe you have cancer. Uh, who knows? But there are reasons why you would want to protect yourself from it. But if you're a reasonably healthy person and you're not 80 years old, it's probably not going to be that big a deal. Right. Even if you get it. I mean, person after person after person. Yeah, I got COVID. I had it for a few days and it was fine. Uh, yeah, I got COVID. I, I didn't even know I had it. Uh, yeah, I, I got COVID, and it was bad for one day, and then I moved on. I, you know, it's not even the thing it initially was. And, so. and you've got individuals in this administration, like Dr. Ja, who have to keep it going at least through the midterm. Because remember, you know, we've got to somehow convince people to vote by mail and use the drop boxes and all that stuff. No, 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 it's still a thing. We can't be going together in a line in a crowd. No, y'all. Right. Stop. Yeah. Come on. It's not 2020 anymore. It's not. No, uh, we're, I mean, we, we've talked about it before, but I mean, really, <clears throat> uh, we overall, we're done with it. We know we're going to get sick. It's still there. We're mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. It's, it's We're moving on. Right. We're moving on. Living we are. Life. We're just going to deal with it now. It's going to be like, on. and we've said this a million times, it's going to be like we treat the flu. Yes. Okay. If you, th- if you feel like you need the shot when, when you... 
when flu season begins, okay, people go get the Which shot. Which is just beginning, by just, the way. Just going to be like that. It's going to be the same thing with COVID now. So we're, we'll just live with it. Right now, well, let's see. This is the, uh, okay, as of yesterday, 39,312 COVID. Inf- inf- it's, that's the average, the seven-day average. 39,000. Okay, it was 89,000 last year at this time. How many deaths on the seven-day average? 421. It was 1,658 wow. this time last year. So the thing has really calmed down. It, it, it really has. It's, it's not worth the panic. Even if it once was, it isn't now. That's 780 people per state if you divide by 50, right? Yeah, think of that in a state the size of Texas with 30 million people. Only 700-some are getting it every day. That's not very many. No, it is not. That's why you don't see it in your orbit, usually, because that's very few people. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 888 933 I mean, you can talk till you're blue in the yeah, face. Yeah, I so know. It right. just doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. Uh, J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon claims that... Wait, I'll let him say it. Uh, he's talking about Biden's energy uh, policy. And, and that it was is. pretty predictable that Putin was going to cut off some gas and certain oil and oil prices would go up. Uh-huh. And by the way, for the climate mm-hmm. folks here, it's made the climate worse oh. because people had this what? bad assumption that high oil prices and gas prices <laughs> reduce consumption, reduce CO2. No, <laughs> poor nations, India, China, Indonesia, Philippines, Vietnam, mm-hmm. are turning back on coal plants, as are rich huh. nations called Germany, Netherlands, France. What? We have it completely backwards. <laughs> in, Amer- in my view, Isn't America should have been pumping oh, more oil and gas. Gosh. And it should have been supported. You know, we're trying to have our cake and eat it too a little bit. Uh-huh. And so you have the, the you have the problem this winter, which it sounds like they've got enough supply to get through this winter. Uh, but we okay. we have a longer term problem now, which is the world is not producing enough oil and gas to reduce coal, make the transition, create security for people. Uh, so I would put it in a critical category. And th- yeah. this should be treated critical. almost yeah. as a matter of war at this point, not as a, a, a nothing short of that. So, you know, people. <sighs> Don't be surprised. Like, I was not surprised at Nord Stream 1 being blown up. My, I wouldn't be what? surprised what was if that? it's another pipeline or a tanker in the wrong place. What now? And people need to be prepared at this one. And obviously, America needs to play a real leadership role. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Huh. That what ship a, has sailed. What a right-wing kook. How <laughs> dare you say those things, Jamie Dimon? Oh, he's obviously one of the, you know, uh, MAGA GOPers. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to say about that? What's the Biden? What's KJP going to say about that if she's asked about Jamie Dimon's uh, comments? Hmm. I wonder if MSNBC oh. is writing to the rescue. Oh, for I'm sure. Joe Biden on this. Yeah, let's see. Okay. And the inflation story throughout Europe, it's, it's almost impossible to see how you're going to improve mm. the, the, the situation at the pump mm. without pumping more oil. Of what? course, what? there's all sorts of uh, fair issues to talk about when it comes to climate and fossil fuels what? and all, all the like. But in terms of the <laughs> economy, yeah. it's, it's real. How much of a difference wow. can we make? Mm. I mean, Republicans are saying that since Biden's got in, he's frozen a lot of, a lot of drilling. What? What? what what kind of I difference would it make for the economy, for the, the challenges we're in right now? So, look, I, I think even if you were to pump more gas, the, the issue, and we talked about Saudi just last week, right. about take, that's going to cost us probably 15 mm. to 30 cents more per gallon. <laughs> you could argue that we're already moving that direction already. You're already in the five or six dollar range if you're if you're living in California. Are. Five to six dollar range. Is it going to be, could, could you reduce it by a dollar? Could you reduce it by 50 cents? That's what we're talking about. Huh. But... And that may sound like it's on the margin, but it's not if you have to go to work every day. Right, right, right. right, right. Wow. Ah. Huh. They're, they're losing MSNBC over there. What? The Biden administration. <laughs> wow. You mean we should pump more oil to lower the price? Did somebody write this down? This guy is saying what pump more oil to bring the price down. But where? Like in Venezuela? No, no. I think he means what? in... What? Saudi, Saudi, Arabia, Saudi Arabia should pump no, more? No, but the question by the intern killer uh-huh. guy, he said uh-huh. um, it was uh, drilling oil, you know, in the leases. Well, like stuff. in Russia? No, no. no? Oh. He, he was referring huh. to the United States <laughs> of America, Pat. I'm sorry that you didn't pick I up on understand. that. I don't understand. We don't have any oil, do we? No. Do we have oil here? I, you would think that we have no oil in the ground. I don't know. forget, if uh, they had left Keystone to do its thing, uh, 
oil would be coming from Canada to Texas in well, March Canada of 2023. Doesn't, doesn't have any well, oil that's either. the thing. Well, North America is just completely void of oil and Wait, gas. No, you guys have, that's the thing. We've you. got no resources here. The tar here. sands. You've heard of the, the <laughs> Canadian thing, and you've heard of all of our shale here. And Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. When you include shale, which you do now because it's much more... It's much easier to extract because of uh, horizontal drilling and fracking and all of that stuff. We have more oil available to us than anywhere else on Earth. We have the biggest oil and gas reserve on Earth. And we're not tapping into it to its fullest extent. Hmm. We could eliminate this problem completely. And... And become the exporters yep. uh, for the rest of the world. So you hate the environment is what you're saying. Hate it. Yeah, I just want to destroy it. That's all. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.